All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the new flame slash physical unit, Plotty, to where she's a very big buff for the flame team and she primarily focuses as a main DPS. But do note that she was tested on the test server, so there's a chance that this could change. But this is what you need to know before you roll, starting with her main mechanics, which are actually pretty simple. Everything is powered up due to her skill. So once it's active, it creates a bunch of mirrors which allow you to fly. The farther away you are from an opponent, increases your final damage, capping at 3%. You also have a clone, which randomly appears, doing additional damage. And on top of all of that, it increases your normal attack damage. Bringing us to our normal attacks, and like most characters, the only thing you're really going to be doing is hold attack. And then when it comes to her dodge attack, you just want to make sure that you do at least one while the skill is active because this will lower the skill cooldown by 10 seconds. Bringing us to her discharge, which is really powerful since it does inflict armor dissolve, causes your skill to do more AoE damage, and it lowers the target's flame resistance. But this is a long scale animation, so most of the time you're just using this at the start of the battle. Bringing us to her special features. Starting out, she is a dual element character to where she is a flame and physical character. And looking at her ability, she has a 14 shatter and a 12 charge, which can be misleading. Her shatter is not that great, which I'll discuss later in this video, and her charge is okay. And like Yimiao, she has the trait Armor Dissolve, to where it's going to increase the physical and flame damage, it removes the grievous effect, and physical attacks will stun the targets, while flame attacks decrease the target speed. Under Elemental Resonance, she has Fusion of Flame and Mass, to basically to where she gets the best stats from all of your physical and flame gear. And of course, she comes with the flame and physical resonance. And then she has her special domain 9 skill to where after using her skill you're going to do more AoE damage which is further increased by flame attack, HP, your resistance, and crit. And this counts as discharge damage. And it's further increased by 1.3 times if you have a boat or frost weapon on the team. Bringing us to her trait, which is very good, especially if you're using her as a main DPS, because it increases the team's final damage by 18%, and it greatly increases the flame damage as long as you're on Plotty. So let's go ahead and talk about her playstyle. Plotty is a hyper DPS, to where you're mainly going to be doing most of the damage while she's on field. You generally want to start out by activating her discharge, and then activating your other support unit's buffs. After that, you're going to activate her skill, and then do a dodge attack, and then do hold attack until her skill ends. Which brings us to her ascensions, with her one star greatly increasing her normal attack damage, with this being one of her most powerful ascensions. Three star is also a big boost in damage by increasing your final damage and allowing you to proc Fantasias much easier. Five star is not that much of a damage increase, but it is a much needed ascension by allowing you to heal while your skill is active. And six star is another massive damage increase by greatly increasing the AoE effects of your skill, and it also provides more survivability by allowing you to block some damage. So so now let's go ahead and discuss her teams, which are very limited due to how she functions. Her best team is Nanyin, Fies, and herself. The reason for this is because her skill counts as summons, which Fies wants. Because the more summons you have on the field when casting Fies' skill, the stronger her AoE effects are going to be. On top of that, when you cast Nanyin's Discharge, it's greatly increased by your attack, and Fies also greatly increases your attack. But one weakness of this team is that it has no healing unless you have a 5-star plotty. Bringing us to our honorable mention, Fiona, to where you could replace her with Nanyin if you don't have a high star plotty. But this will be lower DPS than the main meta team. Bringing us to the matrices, to where Plotty's matrices are very powerful, and they get even stronger the better your stats are. To where her two-piece greatly increases your physical and flame attack, and it also increases your dodge energy regen. Why her four-piece greatly increases the elemental damage and gives a final damage buff once her skill is active. And if you do have Nanin on the team, using her matrices are very powerful and give a major boost in damage. Five's matrices are very powerful as well, with only Yimyao matrices equaling or slightly beating them out. And Liyua matrices are pretty bad, with them only slightly beating DPS matrices. And DPS matrices rank the lowest, to where even if you can get a 0 star 4 piece set of Plotty, it's going to beat DPS matrices. But again, you might want to focus on getting more stars on Plotty before you consider getting her matrices. And Yimyao matrices, as discussed earlier, these can be replaced for Five's, being a very strong matrice set. And Zeke matrices, stronger than Liyua's, but weaker than Yimyao's. So now let's go ahead and discuss some of her flaws. As mentioned earlier, her shatter is pretty bad. To where Fies, having the same rating as her, is able to shatter better. And Plotty has no healing in her kit until you reach 5 star, which may prove challenging and harder content. And lastly, she does not provide much for the physical team since only her 3 star gives a physical damage buff. So in conclusion, if you're a flame main and you're able to pick up quite a few stars as well as get her 0 star 4 piece, you should see a major improvement in your flame team. 
And with that, that should be everything that you need to know before you roll. Well, let me know down in the comments. Are you rolling for Plotty? Are you waiting for those future characters? But other than that, I'll talk with you guys later.